All right, we're going to enter the senior night portion of our, our, our service tonight. We're going to ask our seniors if they'll come ahead and come up here. We've got three seniors uh, this year. We have uh, Brother Hayden, uh, Lance, and Miss Faith team. And then also we sort of adopted in Cameron. Uh, she has gone to camp with us the last several years and goes to more of our activities than most of our youth. And Faith asked me, she said, it would be all right if we did that with Cameron. She could participate in senior night with her, and I thought that would be a wonderful idea. So we're going to have her... Um, be involved in this too. I've asked them to come and give us a, a, a quick testimony, and so they're going to come and give us a quick testimony. Then, Brother Vinny. Okay, good. I saw him earlier. I know he was here. <laughs> he had my Bibles. <laughs> He's going to present a Bible, a gift that we have for them uh, when they get done with their testimonies. All right, so who would like to start? All right, Hayden said he would like to start. <laughs> Well, we came, we started coming here two years ago in July. Um, we stayed for Austin preaching in August. It wasn't until that November I got reassurance of my salvation. Amen. A week later, Good. I got baptized. Right. Um, since then, I've met, well, when I first came here, I didn't know no one. Um, since then, I've met a lot of people here. Good. Some people that's close to me. Um, I'm thankful for Brother Vinny and Brother Jason for teaching me and showing me Amen. in the Bible. Good. Um, Good. I'm thankful for my mom most of all, though, because Amen. she used to want to come here. Well, she couldn't because she had cancer back then, but she really wanted to come here, and she'd watch it online, but she would cry, and she knew the Lord was telling her to get back in church, but once we did, I've, I've met so many people now. I even sing for the Lord. Wesley's even a preacher now, Amen. but... Without her, I don't think I would have came back here. Because we, we used to come here when we were little yeah. for, I think, till I was seven, I believe. And then she kind of got tired and she dropped out for a while. And then it wasn't until 2016 we started coming back. Amen. But I'm thankful for her most of all. Because without her, I don't, I don't think I ever would have came here. So, that's all. Good. That's good, good job. Good job. Mine's short. I don't like talking. <laughs> uh, I want to thank everyone for helping me get to where I am today. Thank you to my grandma and grandpa. I'm going to cry. <laughs> for being Amen. the best grandparent. And help me through rough times. Thank you for being the dad in my life. Amen. Amen. Good. Amen. <laughs> Thank you to my aunt and my uncles for showing me how to grow in my walk with Jesus. Amen. My brother Corey for always being there for me. Amen. To my beautiful mother. Amen. Thank you for being the strongest woman. Hey, I have ever hey, had. Good. You continue to surprise me in all that you do, and I couldn't ask for anything more. Good. And thank you all again for making me feel welcome and be with me on my journey. And also, I'm very thankful for Faith. <laughs> she typed that, I didn't do that. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. <laughs> I didn't write anything down because you know, I'm late like that. So, um, I've been going to this church, I guess, since I was a baby. You probably changed my diaper. Sorry. <laughs> um, um, I just, <laughs> I don't think I could ever put into words how appreciative I am of this church or the people in here. I'm thankful for Brother Jason and Brother Vinny and Miss Tria and 
Miss Rebecca for always leading me and guiding us to be the best that we can be in our walk with God. And I'm thankful for Nanny for. Hey. I'm thankful for Nanny for always being that godly influence to me. Hey. Who, who yeah. even when Dad didn't come, she made me go. <laughs> And then I'm thankful that she was able to get dad back in it. And so for his last years, he was able to spend it with the Lord. Amen. And I'm thankful for Miss Connie for being my leader and Miss Brunella and Miss Lois and Miss Kathy. I'm just thankful for everything. And this church has done so much for me. And I'll just hope that y'all can pray for me as I continue my journey. And I'll come back, obviously. And just, just pray for me. And just thank you so much. I really don't know how to put it into words how thankful hey. I am it's for saying thank you. So. Thank you so much. All right, Brother Vinny's going to come. I appreciate oh, Brother Vinny. The too. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't write that in on your thing. Huh? <laughs> appreciate all Brother Vinny's been doing, working with the teens. He's been working with the teens for several years now uh, Go uh, in, in Sunday school teaching faithfully. And so appreciate him. We're going to have him come and present a Bible t- uh, to our youth. Like that, uh, you ladies need to go get some of those Kleenex and start passing them out. You got everybody crying. I just wanted to, um, we always like to give them um, a Bible when they graduate. We believe that that's one of the most important things um, above their uh, a- academics, above their sports, above the th- anything that they can learn in school. Um, we believe that this is, this is the sole authority and this is the thing that they need to uh, know the most. And so... Um, we'll go ahead and get started. What I like to do, um, and I just started this, I think, a couple years ago, but I always try to think of a verse that maybe will help them along the way, and I go ahead and, um, and highlight it in your Bible. So you've got a verse that's, that's highlighted. I'm sorry that I went ahead and, well, it was the first one to write in your Bibles, but that's, <laughs> when you're the youth leader, you can do that. <laughs> so, but we'll start with Hayden. And I just want to say just a couple words. I won't, I won't drag it out or anything. So, Hayden, will you come up here, please? Okay. So, anybody that doesn't know Hayden, Hayden there's our crooner. He's the, um, the guy that gets up here and sings. Um, I'm really proud of him because, um, you know, when he, when he did first start coming, um, you know, you can just tell a difference in, in how he's grown from when he first started coming to uh, the man he is now. And I just appreciate him. Um, volunteering, you know, it was kind of sketchy whenever he talked about he wanted to sing because we never heard him sing, and he was just like, hey, I want to get up there and sing. That. You remember yeah. that? It was, it was a youth, they had a youth night. Yeah, yeah. yeah and so we were just kind of like, well, you know, maybe we need to, you know, but he got up there and he sang, and it was, I mean, it was awesome. I mean, you know, and you've done a good job. But I appreciate him um, in, in who he's become. He's, he's um, faithful to church. Anytime that we need anything done, he's willing to do it. And so um, I just want to say, Hayden, I appreciate you. Um, The verse that I picked out for you was Proverbs 4, 26. It says, ponder the path of thy feet and let all thy ways be established. And I hope that you remember going forward, um, I heard a quote, and I was trying to think how it is. It's um, a wise choice um, has wise forethought, I think it is. Your wise choices has wise forethought. So we'll present this Bible to you. We appreciate you. We love you, man. I also want to say I appreciate the parents and, and um, guardians and grandparents that, that get them here. Um, because I, you know as a teenager you didn't want to come to church. I mean that's just the bottom line. You, you didn't you know you, you didn't want to be here and mom and daddy or grandma and grandpa or your, your parents you know, kicked you in the hiney and told you to come on. Come on, Miss Cameron. You're next. So this is Miss Cameron, and um, and I love Miss Cameron to death. See, you made me cry, and I ain't even <laughs> know you. Um, but she just started coming, and uh, when she comes to our youth group, she participates, um, and I just, I know... Um, Cameron's heart, and I know how she is, and, and she is just a joy to be around. We pick back and forth um, on each other, but on all our youth trips, um, you know, she questions some of the things that, that we have, some of the rules that we have, but then we tell her, you know, why, and she just does it, you know, and so, I mean, we've all got that little little piece in you, but Cameron, I just want to say that I really appreciate all that you've done, and for you 
to be coming and being a part of our family. You just kind of fit right in. And so your verse I got was 1 Corinthians 2, 9. It says, but as it is written, I hath not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. And if you'll love God and you'll stay with him, there, you don't know what he's got planned for you. And I think you're going to do great things. So I appreciate you and I love you too. And then they're stuck. <laughs> so, oh, nice words this time. Okay. So this is faith. Um, we always pick back and forth with each other. And I just want to say um, it is amazing to me um, how she has grown uh, just in the past, I'd say, four or five years. Um, whenever I first started working with the youth and when faith was a part of it and she came up in it, um, you know, she kind of had her cliques and she kind of had her people that she hung around with. And I've noticed over just over the past two years that any time that she hears a lesson or any time that she hears Brother Jason preach um, back there in, in um, our youth group, she takes it to heart and she actually tries to apply that to her life. Amen. And to me, more than anybody, Faith has done that. And she is... She has tried to be um, a friend to the friendless, Amen. and she has tried to be um, a companion to, to everybody in our, group, our youth group. She's been a leader. Um, you know, when she, she first came, I kind of wanted to take her tongue and tie her lips together where <laughs> she couldn't talk, you know, but um, ain't that right, Miss Rose? No, that's right. And uh, she told me to say that. No, she didn't. <laughs> but she is just, she has been, I just love faith to death, and, and I just feel like we are, we are kindred spirits, and um, we are. Are you glad? <laughs> I believe it. Oh, okay. So, but I, I feel like God is going to, oh, one of the things that I wanted to mention is just the things that she does on her own. Um, I don't know how long it's been, how long has it been since you, you started teaching yourself, um, Korean? Has that been about two years, a year? No, it's been like since ninth grade. Oh, well, I don't, anyway, it's, it's been a while. But, you know, for a young girl to, to take it on herself, to teach herself another language um, without, without, you know, anybody prodding her to do that. And she has said that she's had a heart for missions. And, you know, and to me, that, that is just the greatest calling. And, and um, I just love you for that. But um, I want to get off of this. Um, I gave you Psalm 73, 26. It says, My flesh and my heart faileth. But God is the strength of my heart Amen. and my portion forever. Amen. Faith, we just love you. We're really going to miss you. Amen. And we love you, Dad. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. Praise God. All right, appreciate that, Brother Vinny. Uh, I know he loves, he loves these kids. Uh, he loves them to death. And so uh, thank you, Brother Vinny. Uh, appreciate these young people. We're, we're going to um, show their videos now. And so Brother Cody's going to get that up something we always do so we're going to show their videos and then we'll have brother hayden come right after the videos and he's going to sing and then we'll have our message Amen. 